Hello coders, in this first video of handling missing values in pandas, I am going to explain you. Before handling missing values, first we have to find how many actually missing values are there. So we can able to handle the missing values. So let's get started. So let me first import pandas spd. So now here I have created data set just to explain you the concept of missing values. If you want, then you can download it from my GitHub account. Link is given in the description below. So data underscore as na dot csv. Now, as you can see over here, here some of the columns having the missing values that you can see over here, which is here it is indicated by nan, which is not a number. Not a number means these values are undefined or unrepresentable. So now let me first find total number of missing values. For that we have to use the pandas method is null. Now you can see it creates boolean arrays. So now let me press shift tab over here to check the doc string and the description of is null method of pandas. So it detect missing values. As I said, it return a boolean same size object indicating if the values are NA. NA values such as none or numpy.nan gets mapped to true values. Everything else gets mapped to false values that you can see over here. If it is find null, it maps it to true values. Not null values are mapped with false values that you can see over here. If I want to find the sum of it, then you can write sum over here. So now using sum, we can find null values in each columns that you can see over here because in this by default axis is equal to zero that you can see over here. So axis is equal to zero. It performs the operation along the columns. Now if you write axis is equal to one that you can see it performs the operation along the row wise that you can see over here. 0, 1 missing value, 1, 1 missing value likewise. So by default, if you mention here axis or not, by default axis is 0. So now name column having 0 missing value, marks column having 2 missing values, grades column also having 2 missing values. Now if you want to find total missing values in our entire data set, then again you have to add here some that you can see over here. Total 4 missing values are there in our entire data set. Just for your information, in place of is null, we can also use is na. Actually, is null is an alias of is na. So now we can write is na in place of is null. As I said, actually, is null is an alias of is na. That you can see over here both are same we can use exactly the same way as we have used is null. so here also there is a method not null which is opposite of is null by that we can find total not null values there in our data set now let i display our data set so now in place of is null we can write not null so total number of not missing values, not null values in our data set that you can see over here. So data dot not null is also generates boolean array where it put true if it not null and false if null which is totally opposite of is null. So now let me find the sum of total not null values. So these values are not null values. So name column having 7 not null values, marks column having 5 not null values, grades column having 5 not null values. Now total not null values which are not missing our data set that you can see total 17 values are not null in our data set that we can find using not null which is exactly opposite of is null. So please remember this, these all the methods we can also apply on the pandas series as well. Now, here you can see this is our pandas data frame. When you write type and data, which is our pandas data frame. But each and every columns we consider as a pandas series because pandas data frame 
is made up of number of panda series so here total three series are there which is named with name marks and grades that you can see over here let i display the marks column which is nothing but panda series let me check the type of it now you can see this is panda series so these methods we can also apply on the panda series that you can see here we can write is null to find the total missing values in this marks column that you can see again it generates the boolean arrays then we can write the sum so total two values are missing in this marks column that you can see over here so if i write like this marks and is null then you can see over here it generates the boolean array so that we can pass to our data set so when it finds true it will display that particular row by that we can find actually which row having the missing values that you can see over here so it will give the complete information about that particular row having missing values that you can see same we can apply on the other column as well or we can say it's on the panda series that you can see over here let me check our original data set so in the grades column row number 0 and row number 3 having this missing value that you can see over here grade column nan and nan same way also we can apply not null that you can see over here these many rows having not null values inside this grades column so now here you can see this way we can find how many missing values are there in our data set and also we can find to the particular column as well still if you have any doubt then please write in the comment section below thank you thank you for watching